Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of July of 2022. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well. Yes, we are going to dive into this. Keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is, in fact, a timeless reading, Virgo, just because this is dated for the month of July, which is really just for organizational purposes. It does not mean that it has to resonate for you at, in the month of July. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. July is really just a organizational thing. Yes. All right, Virgo, I am going to give this two more shuffles for you for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. And then we're going to get into this and see what we've got for you. So what's going on? What's going on for Virgo? Please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. All right, here we go. What's going on for Virgo at this time? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on? No, it didn't flip over. Okay. What's going on for Virgo? Temperance. Jeez. All right. All of these cards. Okay. We've got Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Then we have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Virgo. Um, uh, bear with me here. Give me some time. I'm just going to take some time to really channel this for you. I feel like, I feel like this Ten of Pentacles here is an, is an ultimate goal that you have in mind. You may have actually come to a new understanding in life that has you seeking different goals than you may have been seeking in the past. I feel like now is the time actually for you to start taking action towards this new goal here. Um, I feel like you've been spending a lot of time, Virgo, in uh, maybe in a little bit of solid... Uh, uh, um, I, want, I was just about to say solidarity. Uh, that's not a solitude is actually the word that I was looking for. But solidarity might work because you've been I feel like I'm seeing the hermit in my head right now, which does represent your energy. But I feel like you've been in a very solitary moment showing a lot of solidarity with self. And that uh, I just heard there's a lot that you've been reconciling within yourself. I'm getting that from temperance. Okay, I feel like you've been spending a lot of time alone or just with yourself. Um, if you're not really truly alone here, if you don't, if you can't really spend a lot of time in solitude, I feel like you're just paying or have been paying special close attention to your own thoughts and feelings and really putting aside time or taking the time out to really spend it with yourself, focusing on what's going on internally, working on finding a level of equilibrium in your life. Okay, this may be because circumstances have changed around you, but it also could be that circumstances within you are changing and you have been working to find that balance. Before I go any further, um, I, I, you might want to watch the Libra reading. Um, I don't remember what came out for the Libra reading yet. I recorded that reading yesterday, uh, as in like the day before the day that I'm recording this reading. Um, but I do remember that in that reading, a number of times I called Libra Virgo. So you might have a Libra placement. You might be on the cusp of Virgo and Libra and those energies, both those energies resonate with you. You might be a Virgo dealing with a Libra. Um, you, But either way, I don't exactly, wait, I, I have my notes right here. What did I write? What was the title of the Libra reading? Oh, oh, now I remember. The title of the Libra reading is This Has Been the Best Thing for You. Um, and okay, I'm not going to go into um, 
into the specifics there. Go watch the Libra reading if that intrigues you. But basically there has been a shift the, the Libra finds themselves in a position or in a space where they've been going through something difficult, but it's been causing them to change and shift and redefine what it is that they want for themselves. So ultimately, even though it's a pretty shitty situation Libra may have found themselves in at this time, they may have even found themselves to have been coerced into, ultimately it served a higher purpose in getting Libra to really shift and change within to get to another level of finding out what is best for Libra or what Libra actually wants. That could be very similar to you, Virgo. So if that resonates with you, go check out that Libra reading. But that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on here with temperance, with this equilibrium that you have been working on uh, uh, developing within yourself and within your life. As a result of that, Virgo, you have something new that you can work towards. Ace of Pentacles, okay? And so, and then Ace of Pentacles to the Three of Wands, all right? There's enough momentum here for you to get started. And I am seeing that whatever this Ace of Pentacles represents for you, this new path, this, just, this new journey, this new way of life, this new project, this new career path, whatnot, whatever it is, that has been that is new that is tangible or whatever is being born out of this sense of equilibrium that can create something physically new in your life i'm seeing this ace of pentacles as the ult the, the beginning of what ultimately could be the ten of pentacles here for you as your overall energy okay virgo now these last three cards the page of cups to the eight of wands to the knight of cups this is saying to me here, Virgo, that you are ready to start making moves in whatever way that is. It doesn't have to be huge, okay? But you are ready to start making moves, and it's crazy. As I was saying that, and I pulled, I brought these cards up to the, the camera so you could see them, I saw a number synchronicity that I have been seeing a lot personally, and it's number 654. You can go to... Uh, look that up on the angel numbers website but from what i've understood from that because that like i said that is that's a number that pops up for me a lot 654 and in essence that number synchronicity says don't worry about how ultimately your plans are going to work out when they're going to work out why they're going to don't worry about all of that just get started on them and that's exactly what i was picking up on with this the page of cups the eight of wands the knight of cups you've dreamed about this enough OK, you have uh, uh, um, you have bounced this around in your head enough. You've done enough of the work internally to feel this out and get really into alignment with it. Now the pathway is open. Eight of Wands for you to start moving forward, taking action. The Knight of Cups. I always see the Knights as action oriented, as action being their main message. This in terms of the Knight of Cups would be action in terms of what it is your heart has been calling for, what it is you've been dreaming of in the Page of Cups state, okay? It's time to start moving forward, Virgo. But this is a good thing. This is a good thing, okay? Um, what I'm seeing here with this Three of Wands energy is now it's, I, I feel like you've been in a bit of a planning phase, okay? You caught the inspiration, Ace of Wands. You, you went back and forth or you tried to decide how you wanted to move forward with it. If you actually wanted to move forward with it, you had to define what it was for you in some cases, Two of Wands. And now you have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands for me is saying, okay, Virgo, how do I put this into action? How do I manifest this? What are the action steps that I need to take to bring this to fruition, to get the momentum going, to receive the fruits of my labor, to get a return on an investment? How do I make this investment in order to receive a return on it? Three of Wands energy. What do I have to do to receive these ships to come into my port, okay? This is beautiful, Virgo. I really like this for you. I really, this really does feel good. It does feel good. It doesn't feel daunting. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of apprehensive energy, but I feel like I'm still kind of feeling a little bit of Taurus's energy because Taurus has some change coming and they've been resisting it. Uh, but also, I, I've noticed that Taurus and Virgo readings often, at least when I channel Taurus and Virgo energies, they often are pretty similar messages, a pretty similar energy. So you might have a Taurus Virgo placement. You have, might have both placements, okay? 
one last shuffle here and I'm, I'm wanting to start with temperance. All right, so let's start clarifying with temperance here. So what is temperance for Virgo, please, spirit? What is temperance for Virgo? The four of wands, that's good. That's good. So the effects of, damn, look at that. There's the three of wands now. Three of wands has come out twice. Okay, T clarify temperance for Virgo. Ooh, that's enough right there. Okay, three of wands. Then you have the knight of cups with the seven of pentacles. Actually, we're going to do it this way. Seven of pentacles to the knight of cups. Overall energy is the queen of cups. Yes. So temperance absolutely represented a time period for you, Virgo, where you were working on figuring out what was going on within you, trying to find balance, trying to find equilibrium. Okay. Um, mainly, it feels like it's because of where you found yourself in life. I don't know what that means. I don't have any other definition for you for that other than where you found yourself in your life at that time, the results of your life at that time, the reality of your life at that time, whatever it is you were dealing with external to you was causing you to go within and find a level of equilibrium, find a level of balance, recalibrate yourself in some way. It seems that those effects or, or, or that time period of working on finding an equilibrium was successful for you, Virgo. Because you have this four of wands energy here, which is speaking to balance, harmony, union within, a, 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 a level of stability, a foundation to work from. From there, you have the three of wands again. Now, I understand this is going backwards, but... Um, this is really kind of an energy of moving forward. You have this stability, four of wands, and then you're, now you get to say to yourself, okay, how do I want to go about putting this plan into action? Or how about, how do I go about getting what it is that I, I, I want now? The fruits of my labor. How is it that I go about getting the harvest that I'm looking for with this ace of pentacles here? Knight of cups represents time to start taking action. Again, just like this knight of cups here, okay? Beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Not Taurus, I'm sorry, Virgo. See, you might have Taurus in your chart. I don't know, but anyway, don't worry about that. But if Taurus resonates with you, go watch that Taurus reading. All right, Virgo, I wanna clarify the Ace of Pentacles next, or should we do the Ace of Pentacles first? Okay, clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo, please, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles, working on it, okay. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please. Oh, geez. So many cards. All right. I'm going to take them, though. Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit. There's that Hermit energy I was seeing for you. That's your energy as well. You have that with the Page of Pentacles, the Sun. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. And Justice. All right. And then the Wheel of Fortune. This could be this could be a really big change for you, a big lucky break. Um, in terms of this Ace of, Ace of Pentacles here, Spirit is confirming that it's time for you to get ready. I'm sorry, it's time for you to get working. Start doing the work that your higher self, that your inner self, that this let sense of equilibrium has been developing for you, okay? Start this new path, Page of Pentacles. It's going to work out very well in your favor, the sun, and you have justice here. It's going to bring justice into your life. I am definitely feeling it's going to bring monetary justice into your life for some of you, okay? You've been looking for a new way to make money I feel like you found it. Whatever your soul is saying to you, whatever new direction you want to move in, do it. Start doing the work now, okay? Regardless as to what you have in front of you, regardless as to how it looks like, regardless as to what you may need to learn in the process, it doesn't matter. Get started, okay? This is your confirmation, Virgo. Start working on that new project. Do whatever it is you need to do to facilitate the growth of this Ace of Pentacles, okay? Beautiful. This is really going to work out in your favor, Virgo. I really feel that very strongly, okay? Last thing I really want to clarify here for you, Virgo, is the Three of Wands. Clarify the Three of Wands for Virgo, please. Clarify the Three of Wands for Virgo. The Empress. Oh, that's beautiful. The Empress. Clarify the Three of Wands, please. That's it. 
Overall energy is death. Whoa, Virgo. This is good. Your, your life, I know I said this for you. I, I mean, I think I used this exact title for you a few months ago, but your life is really about to change for the better. So maybe this is a situation in which you did, you know, since that last reading that I did for you months ago where I said your life was about to change for the better, maybe that's where, that's where this level of equilibrium, finding this equilibrium, this temperance energy came online for you where you were really starting to work on finding that balance. And now you found that balance and you're ready to start moving forward with the new. This is beautiful. But what the Empress is saying for you here in terms of clarifying the Three of Wands is this, this can come through for you in an infinite amount of ways, Virgo, okay? There is so much abundance. There is so much fertility that is at your disposal. I feel like this is encouraging you to really... Um, I'm hearing let go of expectations but let go of expectations in terms of how this can come to you because the Empress is saying to you that this, there is so much abundance around that this could come to you in infinite ways. This could work out in infinite ways. Okay. And then death as at the bottom of the deck as your overall energy is a big transformation. It's a massive transformation. I mean, like, I feel like your life is going to end up not being the same, looking the same at all. I really feel like your chances of reaching this 10, this completion, this ultimate goal here are very, very good. They're highly likely. But what I also feel about it, Virgo, is that it's, it may end up looking very different than what you think it may be or what you're going for right now. But that is not a bad thing. That is absolutely a good thing because I feel like it's going to end up looking way better than you could have even expected. And the frame, the frame of mind or the, the, the view of that you have it of have of it right now is really just a point of reference. The image that you have it that you have in your mind of this ultimate, your end goal here, whatever you want to turn this ace of pentacles to, you have an image of it. That is an end goal, but that's just a that's literally just a point of reference to get you moving in the right direction. It's ultimately going to look so different than you expect. And it's and better way better like the universe is about to show out for you okay i love this virgo let's get your closing message potential outcome please spirit for virgo closing message potential outcome eight of cups ten of cups look at that closing message potential outcome for my virgos please spirit But the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Yeah, okay. But then you have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there is going to be some loss. Um, there's going to be some sorrow, Virgo. You are going to have to leave some things behind. But you see, in terms of walking away, Eight of Cups here. You're walking away from something that has been, but is it no longer working? And you're walking towards your two, or at least you're walking forward to grab your two of cups so that you can, in fact, reach the 10. And it's interesting. This is kind of how this reading is connecting to the Taurus reading because the two of cups came out for Taurus at the end, well, towards the end, in terms of what it is they've been dreaming of. So you really might be, you really might be connecting with a Taurus or you might have some Taurus energy in your chart somehow. If that resonates with you, check out the Taurus reading. But yes, you're fearing, some of you are fearing what it is you need to release or let go of or move away from in order to get started on this. But you have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The ace that would bring you to that ten of swords, which would ultimately end everything that is hurting you. And look here, Virgo, on this five of cups, 
you have the three of cups that are spilled out, but the two cup, the two of cups are still standing. And that's what you're walking away from something to walk towards to gain so that you can, in fact, receive your 10. So just move forward. Don't worry about what it is you may be losing or facing losing right now, because ultimately that's a good thing because it's going to bring you what, exactly what it is that you want. Okay. Uh, all right, Virgo. I want to get your closing oracle guidance from the Gaia Oracle. Ooh. Okay. Closing oracle guidance for my Virgos, please, Spirit. Closing oracle guidance for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. All right, Virgo, closing message, closing oracle guidance, please, spirit. You have Gaia, card number five. And that says wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding. Beautiful. Okay. The Gaia card is the most powerful card in this deck. It shows that you have a deep spiritual connection to the earth and a deep spiritual understanding of life. Gaia, the earth mother, thanks you for the love and consideration you show towards her and the love you have for all living things. She encourages you to gently and lovingly share your wisdom and knowledge of the earth with others. Perhaps you may join with like-minded souls to share your message of love, or you may choose to do practical things to help the earth restore her balance and well-being. Yet this is not a call to preach to others. You are a beacon of light. Remain that way. Share your knowledge and wisdom only with those who are ready to hear it, and do not fear the earth changes that are taking place, for all is evolving and unfolding as it should. All the earth needs is a little more love. Beautiful Virgo. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email and let me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.